This one's called Porca Miseria by the German lighting designer Ingo Maurer. What he does is he takes china and just breaks it. So you have cutlery, pieces of ceramic, tableware, which he breaks and shapes and, and um, grinds down the sharp ends and then assembles them on these rods that are attached to a metal armature that holds the lighting source, in this case a halogen bulb. His company only makes about 10 of these a year. It's done on commission um, and it takes our staff, several people, like about five people, about a week to do one of these because it's all these, this assemblage of different parts that he puts together very carefully to get what looks like a very random effect, but it's far from random. And he showed one of these at the Euroluce Lighting Fair, and apparently an Italian visitor saw it and exclaimed, Porca miseria, which is literally a miserable pig, but translates into something like holy cow or what a disaster. And he liked that name so much, he kept it for the, the lighting piece. You're actually looking at it at a bit of a high angle. Normally, it would be a pendant lamp that hangs above you. So you'd actually be looking up at it. But for storage, we have it, I think, in a much more accessible way, both for storage and conservation. It's yeah, an explosion I love, caught yeah, in time. The idea of like, depicting chaos. Yeah, for this object vibration, it's a very obvious vibration problem that we've got here. If you get two pieces of ceramic, they fit together, <laughs> they might break. Some other reasons why you might not want vibration is an area that's um, adhered. If there's too much vibration over time, that, that adhesive may break down or the vibration may contribute to that. Each of these little wires has been um, supported with a piece of foam. The foam is a uh, specially chosen one, which is a closed cell polyethylene foam, which um, is if it's cut, it's still soft on the edge. It's not abrasive. It's called backer rod. It's actually used to um, insulate log cabins. So this little thing wedges in between your log, <laughs> in your log cabins, and then it's an insulation. We use lots of different materials for our conservation purposes, and this is a different use of it. Um, but it's very good for us because we can pop it on here, and then it's stabilizing that piece. You know, it's fun. It's like a, a conservator, a, a, a design object that's made of lots of broken pieces is, yeah. is fun.